Nice to meet you. you Thank do. you so much. We so appreciate happy. you being here. You. Sam, good to see you Sam. again. We Hi. get to talk yeah. on Zoom. Yeah. Liz. Liz. Hi. I'm so Sorry. happy to meet you. <laughs>
But so I knew what it was like to move around in the world with a bigger body. Um, and one of the shocking things to me was when I did lose a substantial amount of weight, uh, the world related to me entirely differently. Absolutely. I mean, cashiers were friendlier to me. Uh, other gay men were very, very related to me much differently. Uh, and, and that was a shocking thing to realize and to experience. We see this depiction of larger bodies in, in media, in TV, in films. Yeah. This challenged the typical depiction, so I want you to add some thoughts around that. This is the first time that I remember seeing a character or portrayal on screen that's real, and you, you kind of talked about that. You wanted it to be real, and uh, it, you told me um, that you felt like you had a moral obligation to you know, open that world to, because, you know, like we mentioned, this is a story that's told behind the scenes. So I think it's, it's really important to have these stories out there. And I mean, by no means is Charlie's portrayal uh, flattering, right? Like it's, it's shocking in time, like seeing the body and stuff. Like it's not something that, it, it's, it's not a, a flattering image, but it's real. It's some, people live that way. That's a real portrayal. And I think that's important that we need to see that. And I thank you both for putting this out there and, and giving us this opportunity to have these conversations. What were the realities that you saw? What, what in Charlie's character did you see? I'll, I'll ask this of all three of you. So. Oh, I mean, there's, there's a few. Um, the one that uh, really connected with me was the chocolate bar scene. That one really, really connected with me because I've done that hundreds of times, you know, having a stash of stuff and hiding it and then pulling it out and going through the motions in your head of, okay, do I really need this? I shouldn't be doing this. You put it away and then something triggers you and then away you go, right? Like I, I've experienced that. And that one was, that one was real, very real. And Shelley, what about for you? Mine was um, the trauma that he faced. Um, just, you know, I grew up in a, a household that was, had some chaos in it. I, I saw a lot of things in Charlie and, and the trauma that he faced and how he dealt with that trauma uh, by abusing himself, um, because I did. It wasn't binge eating, but, you know, I did some other things. I, I Yeah, I did harmful things to myself to, um, to kill the pain. And so I, yeah. I got that about Charlie. So. Liz? Well, I, I had mentioned the apologizing. I, that really struck me, the, the chocolate bar scene. Um, and the other thing that really got me was the blank Zoom screen. Oh. <laughs> um, and, and keeping your camera off and, and not wanting to be on, on camera and, and the literal and physical invisibility of living with obesity. And sometimes there's that want, desire to be mm -hmm. invisible, but also the feeling that you are invisible somehow. Yeah. And, and that push and pull that goes with it and that recurring blank screen there mm -hmm. just every time it came back up really hit me. And knowing that when that camera was going to go on, that he was going to be judged by his size. Yeah, and, and, and in different the ways views, and the yeah. reactions. I mean, I knew that I was, you know, when I was um, living in a larger body, I knew that I was being judged. <laughs> yeah. You know, everyone saw my issues on my yeah. body. They knew something was going on. And, um, you know, I knew I was being judged. Thanks, you guys, for sharing that. So we are approaching the end of our time together for this discussion, but wanted to give uh, each of you a moment to offer a final thought. What would, what would you say to the folks viewing this today about, about the movie? Go whichever direction you want. So Shelley, I'll go with you first. So. You know, I just want people to see it. I want people to go into Charlie's world and I want them to experience Charlie. I think that they're gonna walk away very differently when they've experienced it. I think people um, believe certain things about people in larger bodies and I, I just want them to know Charlie. Well said. Liz. Living with obesity is not an easy thing. And everyone's lived experience is going to be different. My experience doesn't look like Charlie's. It doesn't look like Ian's. It doesn't look like Shelley's. Or, but there are 
threads that run in the same, uh, in, in all of our stories. And the most important thing anyone can do is to treat all people with dignity and respect and kindness regardless of the size they are in front of you. And if people take that from Charlie's story, I think the movie will have been a huge success no matter what the box office numbers <laughs> end up being. <laughs> I, I hope they're huge, by the way. They're doing pretty well. Yeah. They're doing really well. Ian. Yeah, I think, um, for me, I think, a big part of it is uh, you had mentioned that Charlie uh, Charlie has a superpower and he sees the good in people when they can't see it in themselves. And, and I think that also kind of speaks to what we've already talked about, that he's this incredibly complex, deep character and he's, uh, you know, this real person. And I think when I left the theater in Toronto, I imagine that there's more than a few people that came out of that theater who might walk down the street and when they see someone who's, you know, living in a larger body, their perception or their thoughts might have changed just slightly. Like, I think there's a lot of empathy and connection that came from that movie, from the character, and I'm hoping that going forward, more people see it, the better, that there's more empathy and we're just a little bit kinder to each other and less quick to judge people. And I think that's something that will be really um, big that comes out of this. It's been an honor and we really do appreciate what you're doing, Sam, Brendan, Ian, Shelley, Liz. Thank you so much for participating in this discussion. If you want to learn more about the work that OEC has done around the movie The Whale, visit obesityaction.org slash the dash whale. Thanks again, been an honor. We look forward to talking to you more. It's a privilege. Thank you. Thank you.